In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can use Apple Photos to modify and crop an image, and then you can use that image in your Canvas course. If you're using a Windows machine, you will not have access to Apple Photos. If you have a Macintosh, a laptop, or a desktop machine, you should have that. And Apple Photos is also available on many mobile Apple devices. I have Apple Photos available to myself over on my dock bar on the left. Um, if you don't show it there, then go ahead and look in your Applications folder and do a search on Apple Photos. Uh, I open it up, and this is what I have as a default for the photos in my Apple Photos. It's referencing a lot of the photos that I've taken over the last few months. So you want to choose the image that you want to use in Canvas. Uh, I'm going to choose one that I want to use for a banner, and I'm going to choose File, Import, and I will find that image, I'll bring that in, and here it is. And I can now open that up all the way by pressing spacebar or double clicking on it. Once it's opened up, then we'll wanna choose to make modifications to the image by selecting edit. Edit gives us a new interface and it allows us to make adjustments and apply filters and then crop it. To crop the image, we select the crop button and you can crop it manually. Um, you can also provide the crop ratio. Now, I know from experience using Canvas that I want to crop this image at a ratio that's roughly 10 by 3. You could also use 10 by 2 if you want. Um, for this, I'll go ahead and choose Custom. I'll choose 10 by 3. I then select Custom again. Importantly, click that Custom button. And then you see how it now provided the crop borders around the part, part that I want cropped. I actually want all the ducks to be showing. I don't want them to be sliced like that. So I'm going to click on the image. You see how when I press down on my mouse, and then it reveals that I can control the image below it, I can drag that image around and position it within the crop. I can also continue to have this ratio of 10 by 3, and I can make the area a little more tight. If you do something you really don't like and you want to undo it, then you can always select Revert to Original. But be careful about that because it will go all the way back to the original image. Then once I've completed the image modifications, then I select Done, and I will export the image. And now I can upload it and use it in my Canvas course as a banner.